my adventures. You're gonna hear Bill, he's washing the camper outside while I'm getting everything ready and put up to close up the camper on the inside. I guess that's my way of getting out of helping him wash the camper. I told him, I gotta make another YouTube video. People wanna know about this stuff. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about the steps and process I do to get the inside ready for moving day and where I store things. The first thing that I do on moving day is I go and turn every light on the camper from the bedroom all the way to the den because the lights let me know if I have stuff that I have to do left in that area. But if I'm finished with that area, I turn off the light. So my first place I start is in the bedroom. Now up here in the bedroom, I'm going to turn off my lights. I unplug my lights and I have a little hook up here to store those so when the slide comes in, it doesn't mess up anything. Also, I don't have to take anything off my shelves off because they're stuck up there with museum putty. Video if you wanna see that. Now this step is a personal preference. In the bedroom, I'm gonna leave these blinds down because the pillows hold them, but I make sure all my other blinds are up just because I don't want them swinging while we're traveling. They, uh, I don't want it to mess them up. Now, a lot of people travel with their blinds down to keep the temperature in the camper down. But personally, I just like to have them up because our blinds don't have a hook at the bottom that keeps them down and they can swing while we're traveling. So that's a personal preference. So you either can leave your blinds down or leave your blinds up. Now, on our doors to the, the closet, it has this latch here. I only latch this when we are stationary, but when we're traveling on travel days, I push these back and it has an actual clip that you hook that holds them in place because I've seen people post that they've left this closed and locked it with this and this ended up breaking. Now, I have a rug up here that I keep just to keep the carpet from getting messed up. I'll need to roll it up and I put it inside the closet. Now, depending on whether or not you've run the air up here, you do make sure that it is set to off. We haven't had that running because we're only hooked to the house power and we don't have the, that kind, but that's something that you want to check. Now, the only thing that I have to move up here is the basket because I didn't stick it down with museum putty and I'm just gonna put it in the drawer. Oh, for us too, in this bedroom, for us in the bedroom, I have to stow away the satellite. That lowers the satellite and gets it down. And that's the final step of this room. So this light can go off. Next in the bathroom, I have always left these on these suction cups traveling but these are going to be the first time that these particular ones have traveled and my other ones have broke so what i do for the bathroom is i have this basket up under here and i'll pull it out so i just go ahead and put oh gosh <laughs> all our conditioner and shampoo in here that way it travels and it just stows 
This is the perfect size basket. Got it at Dollar General and it just stays right up under it. I take the towel and stick it in the sink so that it doesn't scratch it. And then I just set that in the sink and it will ride there fine. These are plastic, so they won't break. That's a good thing. Don't take too much glass stuff in your camper. Sinks, sinks are great places for you to store things. Just make sure that you cover it with a towel or something so you don't scratch up anything. I always look up and make sure the skylight's closed and fan is off. Also, in the bathroom, you need to make sure that your shower door is clamped so that it doesn't move around while you're moving. Also, I did feel to talk about this. The bedroom door, they say, the guy told us when we did our walkthrough, and I don't know if this is right, that it needed to stay closed. Well, whenever we would get wherever we were going, it would be open. So now we have a magnetic door stop on here, which is amazing. The door stays open the whole time and it doesn't bang around, which is nice. <laughs> Through with the bathroom, light goes off. That lets me know I'm finished with this room. Now this room has probably the most stuff that I have to put up and get out of the way because when the slides come in, it mess, it closes all this up. So this place, I do not have my pictures over here set up with museum putty, but I'll take those in my pillows and my blanket and put them in my ottoman here. My lamp, I don't have to do anything with. It's museum putty down. Next, I take my drying mat, just so that this doesn't get scratched. I lay my paper towels in here. I put, put my soap in there. I lay down all my utensils. And I even have a plate that I'll put up under the napkins right there. That way, everything in the kitchen area goes into the sink. Now, all this sits inside the sink while we're traveling. Now, inside here, I have seen a lot of people that have had problems with this jumping out or busting while traveling. I haven't, but people will take and put a pool noodle in here and wedge it up and down to keep that from moving. So that might be something you would want to do. All right. Now, I put all of this up. This drawer, I don't keep anything in it because I just take this and put it in this drawer and the coffee. I'm this stuff around. And then the coffee pot in that drawer, the coffee section in that drawer. I also put this in here, but I just put it. Now, I have this. Let me put up here. And coffee maker goes up here. And I put up all my tension rods in my cabinets that holds all my stuff. So you don't have to worry about anything moving. Because we haven't gotten any of this out but normally i would have to put all the cups up plates up and make sure my tension rods are up in there as well all right so that's my first walk around down here it is just putting everything that's loose that has a place to put up so i do that that's my first walk around next i make sure the heat and the air is off and the fan above the kitchen is off and closed the next thing for me is i get to pay tetris this is where all my other things go is right here. I hope you can see this. So what I do is I move my chairs all the way over here. My chairs are over there. My ottoman fits right in this spot. I stack them on top of each other here and then I roll over my, I put, this cabinet there and then to keep this from messing up the island 
I lay the dog bed over it like that, and that keeps it from banging up against the island. Then that is all ready. Next, have to roll up the rug. I roll up the rug, that goes there, and when they close up, it fits right in between here. Then the only thing I have left is make sure all the blinds are open and turn off the lights. Then all I have to do is wait for Bill to tell me that he has swept the tops of the slide outs so I can close them up at that point. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little video on how and where I store my stuff when we're traveling and Bill's beating is drove me nuts. It's taking me twice as long. It already takes a long time to film, but then it takes twice as long. All right, only thing left is the overhead lights and closing up all the slides. So in here, my, my role is to make sure both the awnings are in and the awning lights are off. And then also that the step light is off. So I do that too. See, I was listening. I forgot about these are new curtains, which it would have just pushed them in, but I was going slower to make sure that nothing hit in here. All right, that's it. The next time you see me, we'll be opening it back up. And then I wanted to go over a few little things that you need to do when you get where you're going before you open everything up. Once you get where you're going, you wanna go and look and make sure nothing has shifted in travel and is messing up because you don't want your slides to crush them. So I always go and look behind all the slides. All right, that is it. Just wanted to make sure that nothing had fallen in behind the slides. We'll open it up and then you put everything out and then you're ready. Welcome to all our new subscribers and family. Till next time, like and subscribe.